All right, let's shift focus now to news uh, from Delhi. Well, where, of course, the city has been enveloped by a thick blanket of snow. Uh, in a fog, actually. But more than a dozen flights have been, uh, have been delayed uh, this morning after a thick blanket of fog uh, covered both uh, central and northern parts of India. The Met Department expects uh, this thick blanket of fog to extend for at least the next few days. Minimum temperatures across the capital have dipped sending people scurrying for warmer clothes. All right, Aditi Anant Naranan is joining us from Delhi. Aditi, my bad, it was fog, not snow, but uh, pretty bad at that. I believe a lot of flights have been uh, disrupted because of this. Richika, yet again, uh, the information that we've got today morning that at least 12 flights have been delayed. Uh, now we're going to see in the course of the day whether the dense fog comes down or not. In fact, I'll just ask my camera person, look, okay, just to pan a little bit to show exactly what is the situation in the national capital. The visibility at this point of time, Richika, is barely 100 meters, causing a major trouble for the motorists. In fact, even the cyclists at this point of time, uh, the, in fact, the Delhi police has ensured that each and every personnel is deployed on the stretches of road which are long and which are... Uh, covered with thick blanket of fog. At this point of time, the Med Department has predicted that at least till the 22nd or, or, or the 23rd of December, uh, the fog will continue to remain and the thick blanket of uh, fog will continue to disrupt the daily lives of the people. So uh, enough pre uh, precautionary measures have been taken by the people in Delhi, by the Delhi government and the Delhi, Delhi police at this point of time. In fact, uh, the worst hit at this point of time because of the fog are the uh, aircrafts and the uh, railway lines. In fact, yesterday also there was a delay um, in all in most of the trains which were coming towards Delhi and which were going out of Delhi. Again, today morning at around 8 a.m., uh, the stats tell us yeah. that around 12 to 15 flights have been delayed. Uh, now, this uh, fog is expected to go down by around 11 or 12. Yeah. But like yesterday, the fog continued to remain for a long time. Today is going to be, uh, we need to see how things shape up today. But till 21st sure. or 23rd, the Delhiites should be prepared to uh, experience such a fog. Well, Aditi, you know, I also wanted to find out about uh, conditions that, that we're seeing. And, and, and we can see, I think you're in central Delhi from, from what I can make out. Uh, it looks pretty bad over there. But what about on highways? Because uh, presumably that's where accidents could happen with high speeds. Pierre, what you have seen just behind me, a thick blanket of fog, uh, of fog uh, I, I, I pardon. Uh, in fact, that is the situation all across the national capital, the expressways and the highways. In, in fact, uh, the, uh, the expressway from Delhi to Noida is worse than yesterday. Also, there was bare minimum 50 meters was a visibility yesterday as well. And the same goes for the expressway that, that connects Delhi to Gurgaon. Uh, so all these expressways and the, uh, the, uh, and the Noida expressway and the Gurgaon expressway have been kept under major caution. In fact, uh, the Delhi police have been deployed all through the stretches of the expressway and uh, the Gurgaon highway. Sure. Uh, so at this point of time, uh, Pierre, uh, the Delhiites need to be extremely cautious of the fact that this is going to be the situation in the national capital at least for the next two or three weeks. The fog yeah. will continue to remain and it's not right. a minor fog, it's a thick blanket of small uh, of fog which has covered the entire right. national capital. So definitely uh, Delhiites uh, need to prep up for the days to come. Uh, they should and they should take care uh, while they're driving. Other thing, many thanks for that once again.